In today's video, I figured I would go over all the DIY saddle stuff that I've made throughout the years. Today's video is going to be part one of a multi-part series where I go over all of my homemade saddle gear. And if at any point you want to see how it was built on YouTube, I'll leave a link up top for each build. And don't forget to subscribe and follow. That way you don't miss part two when it comes out. Okay, so this was like one of the first one sticks that I built. And I'll actually bring you guys in closer um, to get a closer look in a second. But it's basically got just a, a flat top to it. And then it's got a pitch on the front of it. I did take the cam cleat off because I ended up using it for another stick. I have another cam cleat, I just haven't put it on. Right now, I have it just on with a regular uh, strap. Close areas, areas that I think that I'm gonna be going back to over and over again. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set this up and I'll just leave this sit up in the tray, just like, it, like you see it now. I'll climb up with it as a one stick and then once I set it up there, I'll leave it and then I'll use a, a paracord loop so that I can just SRT back up to this. It's a little heavy and it's a little cumbersome making moves, but it is, it is really comfortable. This is definitely like an all day sit easy. You could sit in this thing all day easy. Um, it, it is just, it's kind of bulky and it's just kind of heavy. So that's why I use it for like stationary. So you'll notice that we have a nice wide flat step on here. That's so that I can get my shins back away from this when I'm climbing. Um, again, this is something that I would just set up and just leave it up all season long. And now we'll take a look at the next one. So we're back with number two. And it has one inch steel plate all the way to the outside, around the outside. I put these two pieces of one inch steel plate coming off the edge just to give me a little bit of a pitch, somewhat of an angle on that. It makes up two inches and when you stand on it it's it's thick enough to where it doesn't hurt your feet and so you could stand on this on the edge like that for a decent amount of time i probably wouldn't sit the entire hunt like that but it it doesn't hurt to stand on it for a long period of time and so on the top it's lined with the one inch and then the very top plate itself is just a thin piece of sheet metal i did weld that on i just kind of tacked it in spots all the way around and what that does is it it gives me that top platform without having to put in uh, supports and brackets and stuff like that. It's just a lighter way of doing it. It is still a little on the heavier side. So I would use this more for like medium range. You know, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of walking, but I still want to go in a little on the lighter side. Maybe I'm sitting for a longer period of time. I want to set up more for comfortability. Maybe I'm doing an all day sit. If that's the case, I'm definitely going to set up a set of squirrel steps uh, to kind of pair with it as well. And so basically this is set up more for like medium range. It's something that I, if I'm going to be doing long periods of sits, I want to be comfortable. I'm not doing a whole lot of walking. This is definitely the way to go. And so if you see when I put my leg on there, I really don't, it, like, this isn't much of a problem. And that's putting my foot all the way farther back. When you're actually climbing, you're going to be more like that. And so there's plenty of, of room in between there. And so let me bring you guys in real fast for a close up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running a full berry piece of amp steel. It's about six foot long and I have this loop on the end. And that loop hooks on to that pin on the back, just like that. And that's welded to the front plate itself. And so that sits on like that. I also have a cam cleat. This is rated for, I want to say 320 pounds. The post is all one piece. It's attached to the platforms itself. And then these back brackets, they can spin if they want to. And so that's just a closer look at this one stick. So this is number two, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at number three. I built this stick back in the summer. So this is the one that I just built back in the middle of the summer. I've been using this one mainly all season long. I have used the other one quite a few times. But this is basically my run and gun setup. I use this this guy, I'll set up some squirrel steps as well. And this is my lightweight. This is if I'm going back real deep. If I'm only sitting for a little while or if I'm scouting or something like that, 
that's where this guy comes in handy. This thing has been just a, a beautiful stick to use. The foot room on it, it's so light, it's easy to pack. I just, I, I can't say enough about this one. And so let me bring you in for a little bit closer look. So as you can see, I'm running a piece of Am Steel. It's a full berry, just like the other one. And then I have a loop on the end of it with Bromel hitches coming down. And then I took that loop, slid it over the pole, and then I just taped it into place just to kind of hold it there. I'm also running a 300 plus cam cleat on it as well. The standoffs are steel, three quarter inch steel plate, and I have about four to five inches of standoff um, distance between me and the tree. It's one foot in length, and I'm using a piece of three quarter inch steel tubing. And so that is the third one stick. Okay, so now that we got a look at stick number three, Let's go ahead and take a look at some platforms. This is the first platform I ever built. And it's basically made off of a mailbox plate and some three quarter inch or half inch tubing, steel tubing. It was a decent little platform. I used this for probably about a year. It was real light and it was easy to use as well. It doesn't set the best though. So you gotta kind of fight with it a little bit to set it. So then I switched from this one to the second one that I built, which I'll show you in a minute. First, I'll bring you in close to let you get a look at this one. So as you can see, for the bracket, I'm using an actual, uh, I think it's a Hawk platform bracket. So I didn't build this bracket, but this part here is just a little clip so that I can clip this onto my saddle when I'm carrying it and taking it up and down the tree and using it. I, like I said, this one's a little difficult to set. It's not the greatest, but it was a good solid little platform, especially for about a year or so that I used it. And so now that we saw the first platform I built, let's take a look at the second one. Okay, so here's the second platform that I ever built. And it's, it's pretty close to the first one. But the difference is it's a little bit bigger. Um, and I do still use this one. This one is one of the platforms that I'll set up and I'll leave up for a season or I'll leave up for uh, long periods of time. So this one still does get use. Um, again, it's, it's pretty much for spots that are uh, SRT, DRT, stuff like that. I'll set this up and I'll just leave it and I'll leave a paracord loop as well. That way, if somebody does happen to steal it, it's not that deep. I don't really care about it that much. So I'll get you in closer. We'll take a closer look at this one. This will be the second platform that I ever built. And so as you can see, it's pretty similar to the first one. This one sets a little bit better. It's a little easier to use. It's got a little more space to it as well. And as you can see, I have it angled off here. I also left this whole giant piece here open so that I can stick my toes in here and push off with them. Um, same thing with this center piece. I can also stick my toe in here and push all in push off with it and pivot from my foot. This is a decent little platform. It's just, like again, it's kind of heavy. It's not the easiest to set as well. Um, that's, that's why I'll usually set this up and I'll just leave it up there. Once I get it set, I'll leave it and then I'll just come back to it. So this was the second one I ever built. Let's take a look at the third. Okay, so we got the third platform up on the tree and this one's definitely starting to look a lot more like a legit platform. It's also a lot bigger than the other platforms, not quite as heavy, um, but it does have a little bit of weight to it compared to most platforms on the market. It definitely is a little bit heavier, but I don't really mind. It's not, it's not that much heavier. It's like a pound and I can just shed that somewhere else. So I'm not really concerned. Again, this is also something that I'm gonna be using for all day sits. This is something that I'm gonna be setting up for comfort not so much um, light, lightness. I'm not using this so that I can go in as light as possible, right? I'm using this for comfort. So it's definitely bigger, it's a little heavier, but this platform is very easy to use and it's very comfortable. It's definitely hands down the most comfortable platform I've been in. I, I can definitely say that without a fact. I have not used every platform on the market. I have used several, but I haven't used them all. But this is definitely a really comfortable platform. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot more space on this platform. It's a lot bigger. There's uh, 
There's also this front edge that kind of dips down so that I can get a little bit of an angle. It allows me to set the arch of my foot into that and it's a really comfortable spot just to kind of sit like that all day. I also have a ton of foot room as you can see and there's just there's just a massive amount of foot room on this thing. This isn't something that I would just leave up all year round. This is something I would pack in and out. It's something that I wouldn't be going in too deep and I'm most likely going to be using it for a long period of time, like a very long sit. So that's the third platform. Let's take a look at the final platform, the last platform that I just built. Okay, so this is the last platform. This is the platform that I just built a couple of weeks ago. And this platform is more so for packing in long distances. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot smaller of a platform. This platform is going to be pretty much my go-to. This will probably be what I use for one sticking. Um, I'll set my stick off to the side. And this is something that I will pack in for longer distances. If I'm going real deep, real far, then I might just do my one stick with a set of squirrel steps. But this again is more comfort. This is, this is just a, a nicer platform and it's a lot easier to use. And I'm really liking this platform. I haven't got a whole lot of sit time on it. I probably have about four, maybe five hours of sit time on this platform. But from the limited time that I have on it, it, it definitely is a very nice platform. It's very comfortable. It's not as comfortable as my bigger platform, but it is, the, it is very comfortable. As you can see, I have foot catches on the side here, and that allows me to pivot off and push off on the side. I left, just like my bigger platform, I leave these giant holes in the front here, and that's so that I can get my fingers in here to do the adjustment knob. It just makes it a lot easier. If you're not trying to like, you know, fit it into a small area, you can just literally reach down, grab it, and just start twisting it. It just makes it so much easier to use. I'm gonna be doing that on all of my platforms pretty much from now on. The other thing that that does is it gives me a handhold like this, so when I'm actually set in my platform, I can come in here and I can grab that like that and kind of hold that up so that I can get my strap nice and tight. The other nice thing about this platform is that it's really easy to set. So all you have to do is get it up and get it tight and then you just cam it over. You just grab it and I just pull it down. I don't, I don't push it down in the back. I don't do that. I just, I get it up, I get the, I get the strap on it. I cinch it down and I just grab it and pull it down. And that platform is locked. That platform is set, it ain't going. That's not going anywhere. The other platform, the big platform, it, that's the same way. You don't actually have to like, cause if you push them down, it just, it's way too tight. It just cinches way too tight. So for this platform, I get it level, I cinch it and then I just grab it. I grab the front of it like this and I kind of lift up and just cam it, boom, down, like that. And so that's all four of the homemade platforms that I've built. 